When your electric gate remote stops working, the first thing to check is the battery. Battery failure accounts for 60% of all remote control problems. Test your battery voltage with a multimeter. A standard gate remote should read 12 volts. Even if the voltage appears adequate, replace the battery as it may not provide sufficient current under load. Clean the battery contacts thoroughly. Corrosion on the metal contacts is a common cause of poor connection. Use fine sandpaper or a cotton swab to remove any buildup. Inspect the remote for physical damage. Check the antenna, casing, and buttons for cracks or damage that could affect signal transmission. Test the remote signal at various distances from the gate. A weak signal may indicate the need to reprogram the remote or synchronize it with the receiver. By following these diagnostic steps systematically, you can identify and resolve most remote control issues. If these steps don't solve the problem, the issue may be with the receiver or motor system. When the remote control is working but the gate isn't responding, the issue is likely with the receiver or motor system. Start by checking the power supply to the control panel. Next, inspect all fuses and circuit breakers in the system. A blown fuse is one of the most common causes of gate system failures. Antenna problems are another common issue. Examine the external antenna for physical damage, corrosion, or loose connections that can severely impact signal reception. If the receiver appears functional, test the motor system directly. Use the manual key switch or button to bypass the remote control and verify motor operation. Signal interference can cause intermittent problems. Common sources include LED lighting systems, Wi-Fi routers, and other wireless devices operating on similar frequencies. Regular maintenance is crucial for long-term reliability. Perform monthly checks of remote operation from multiple positions and schedule annual professional service to prevent major failures.